Now, see a next topic is here this is thermal stress. See here, if you have taken a rod and it is heated, there is a expansion. That expans expansion is known as thermal expansion and that is a linear expansion if it is along the length. If the two ends of the rods are clamped, so there are the rigid support is given, they, they are clamped at the both the ends. What happened? So, when you heat this one, then these rods provide compressive stress and opposes the increase in the length and this stress is known as thermal stress. And you know y is equal to f upon a that is force upon area that is a tensile stress divided by you can write here delta L by L that is a volumetric strain sorry longitudinal strain. Now, you can write here delta L upon L is equal to alpha delta T. So, you can write this is a delta T is increase in temperature. So, we can write Y is equal to F upon A upon alpha delta T and here F upon A can be written Y into alpha delta T. See here this Y is known as Young's modulus and this is known as thermal stress. So, this quantity is known as here thermal stress. So, thermal stress is equal to Young's modulus into coefficient of linear expansion into rise in temperature. See here effect of temperature on density of solids and liquids. Now, see here in this case you know it density is equal to mass upon volume. For the given volume for the given mass density is inversely proportional to volume. So, if volume increases density reduces. So, when the solids and liquids are heated or their temperature is increased, their volume increases. But see here the expansion in the solids and volume uh, solids and liquid can be easily calculated by the formula given in the previous topics. So, now see here initial density rho is equal to m upon v and now when temperature is increases by delta t density will becomes m upon v dash that is a volume and we know here v is equal to here that is a new volume that is v dash is equal to v into 1 plus gamma increase in temperature that is delta t. Now, from here we can write and from here m upon rho dash is equal to m upon rho into 1 plus gamma delta t this this will get cancelled. So, we can write here rho dash is equal to rho into 1 plus gamma delta t raised to power minus 1 and now it can be written rho dash is equal to rho into 1 minus gamma delta t. This gamma is here coefficient of volume expansion. So, when the temperature is increased density of the solid or the liquid that decreases.